Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower. I'm the current owner of the Polyphasic Sleep Discord server. I'm a main author of polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource, and I'm moderator on the r slash polyphasic subreddit. Today's topic will be on the dual core schedules. Uh, this will be a part of our series presenting the different schedules. So if you haven't seen the other videos in this playlist, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, by the way, if you like this series, Please like this video so we can see that you're enjoying the content. Anyways, back to the video. The dual core or DC family of sleep schedules was originally invented by the Polyphasic Society and they based the schedules on the mechanics of segmented sleep. Instead of having a single long core, the sleep is split into two parts, with the first part being predominantly SWS heavy, while the second part is primarily composing of REM sleep. The dual core schedules then distribute sleep into additional 20 minute naps during the day to allow for an alleviation of REM from the course and providing refreshment during the long wake period. These schedules are typically considered to be more difficult to adapt to than every man. However, if one is naturally and regularly waking up during the night, there's a chance they are naturally inclined towards dual core schedules. We call this being naturally segmented or naturally DC. And while there could be another underlying condition that causes wake-ups, many people in the northern hemisphere have this be a relatively common trait. So dual core schedules could turn out to be easier to adapt to for you people who are naturally DC. The difficulties of dual core schedules stem from the course being of shorter lengths, the need to be awake more during the graveyard hours, and the need for cycle compression. During adaptation, it can be very hard to stay awake for the core gap. And the fact that we recommend people to keep a dark period between the cores sort of makes it harder. But we'll get to what we mean by dark period in a future video. As with the Everyman line, extra tiredness is also introduced until SOREM has been achieved in the naps. The dual core schedules are also not as known as the Everyman schedules uh, due to their low popularity. The increased sleep quality that comes from segmenting the cores into the SWS and REM peaks allows for further sleep time reduction compared to single core schedules, which is a huge benefit to these schedules. Like with Everyman schedules, each variant of dual core is a number based on how many naps it contains. So for example, a dual core schedule containing two naps is consequently called dual core 2, or just DC2 for brevity. The first schedule we'll talk about is dual core 1. This is the first dual core sleeping schedule and follows logically from segmented sleep. It has total sleep time of 5 hours and 20 minutes and is ranked as being moderately difficult. The second core on this schedule is reduced to a single sleep cycle in length uh, when compared to segmented, replacing the second cycle of the second core of segmented with a nap. In general, while this schedule has similar total sleep times as Everyman 2, the adaptation is considered slightly harder for people who are not naturally inclined towards dual core schedules. The ideal scheduling is to place the first core around 9.30 pm, the second core at dawn around 6 am, and the nap around 2 pm. If modifications are needed, the core gap could be potentially shortened a bit, but this risks moving the sleep box out of the favorable REM and SWS timings. Rotating the schedule is also very challenging for the same reason. If the schedule does get rotated, uh, the entire circadian rhythm might have to shift around to compensate for delay. More information about that in a future video, or you could check out the appropriate page on polyphasic.net now. Uh, the link to it will be in the description. The next schedule we'll talk about is Dual Core 2. This schedule follows from Dual Core 1, but with a bit more sleep time reduction. It has a total sleep time of 5 hours and 10 minutes, and is ranked as somewhat hard. An interesting thing happens with Dual Core 2 if the cores are scheduled to start from 90 minute cycles. The cycle lengths can be shortened by compressing the sleep cycles down to 80 minutes, which is reflected in shorter core times, 160 minutes and 8 minutes respectively, making the schedule 4 hours and 40 minutes long. Alternatively, the first core can shorten to 2 hours and 30 minutes at the end of the adaptation. So there are two main outcomes. 
either the first core short as to 2 hours and 40 minutes and the second core to 1 hour and 20 minutes or the first core shortens to 2 hours and 30 minutes and the second core stays at 1 hour and 30 minutes long. This seems to be a completely natural process that can be forced to happen. However, this doesn't happen for everyone. It's currently unknown which factors cause this to happen, but we'll try to figure it out in the future. It should be noted that the schedule proposed by Polyphasic Society recommends people to start with an adaptation with a 2.5 hour first core using mid-cycle wake. However, this has been shown to be a less successful way of adapting to Dua Core 2, and starting the adaptation with cores accounting for 90 minute cycles provides a larger chance of adaptation. With regards to scheduling, an extra nap is added to compensate for the reduction of total core durations compared to Dual Core 1. Because these shorter cores no longer cover as much of the REM peak, the extra REM must come from a nap instead. The total number of equivalent monophasic cycles on the schedule is therefore back up to 5 compared to 4 on Dual Core 1. Ideal scheduling is to place the first core around 10 pm, the second core at around 6 am, and the naps at around 12 pm and 4 pm. As with Dual Core 1, modifying and rotating the schedule is quite challenging and the schedule suffers from the same sort of limitations in this area. Next is the Dual Core 3 schedule. It has total sleep time of only 4 hours and its difficulty is ranked as hard. This is the shortest Dual Core schedule and without a doubt the most difficult. The 4 hour sleep total is on the border of the minimum sleep threshold and most people will find that this schedule is harder than E3 because of the split core. The two short single cycle cores can result in a significant sleep cycle compression down to as short as 60 minutes. This would make each core 1.5 cycles long. The first core will account for around 65% of the daily SWS and the high level of cycle compression could result in SWS wakes from that core during the adaptation, making it even harder to stay awake during the graveyard hours due to sleep inertia. The second core will have a more balanced amount of SWS and REM with marginally more REM and is consequently more likely to have REM or light sleep wakes. The three naps add up to complete the remainder of the daily REM total. The ideal scheduling is to place the first core at around 10 pm, the second core at around 2.30 am, and then place REM targeted naps at around 7 am, 12 pm and 4.30 pm. Unlike with previous dual core schedules, the second core here is intended as a mixed core and it can be placed further away from the REM peak because of the remaining REM will be covered by three naps. As you've probably noticed, this schedule doesn't really resemble the previous dual core schedules and adapting gradually to it through any of them could prove to be rather difficult. However, as you will see in the next video, Dual Core 3 does resemble the Tricore 1 and Tricore 2 schedules a bit. So if you're interested in ad attempting to tackle this beast, we recommend you use a gradual adaptation method through a Tricore schedule to allow for the smoothest adaptation to Dual Core 3. The last schedule I'll touch upon is Dual Core 4. As with Everyman 5, this schedule is aimed to act as a gradual adaptation step to Uberman, so we'll cover it in the nap-only schedules video in the future. Look out for that! Okay guys, that's all for today. The Dual Core line of schedules is a somewhat underrated and underappreciated group, but I hope to have sparked your interest towards them. Which one would you like to try the most? Leave a comment telling us why that specific schedule would be appealing to you. Okay, I hope you learned something, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Nap well! Hey, thanks for making it this far. I want to take this time to shout out our coffee page. Donations go a long way with improving the knowledge of the community and helps us continue the upkeep of polyphysic.net. We plan on funding experiments and sleep trackers for members of the community in the future, and that in turn helps us make sure the scientific endeavors of polyphysic sleep are kept up. And if you like our content, we would really appreciate if you click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Also, if you'd like to chat with us, you can join our Discord. This is where most polyphysic sleep related discussions take place. The links will be in the description. Thanks again and I'll see you later.